Hello there everybody and welcome back to Try New Things. Glad you took the time to click on that icon and watch this video. Well, it is now the very end of April and it's time to give you our first annual greenhouse update. So if you've watched the series of Building the Greenhouse, this is our first season trying to grow something in there in the spring. Let me take you inside and show you around. So here we are inside of the greenhouse. Like I said, it's the end of April. And uh, I'll walk you through some of the things we've tried, some things that are working well, some things that aren't. And the whole point of this first season is to see what works well inside the greenhouse for us and what doesn't. So I start over here, we've got uh, some green onions and a couple red onions growing there. So some chives and onions, they seem to be doing pretty good. In this particular planter, tomatoes are doing fantastic in here. I actually have some tomatoes that we planted from seed uh, blossoming already. So next week we'll take them home and put them in the garden. Uh, peppers are loving it in here as well. So these are growing really well. And some of them got little tiny peppers started on them already. don't think you'll see that, but there it is. And then we've got uh, a couple sunflowers. This one took off really quick. I planted them on the same day. This one is finally starting to come and it's catching up. But it's doing quite well. And then if we move down here, we've got some more peppers. We've got a couple trees we're, we're trying to save. Broccoli, still growing. So is the cauliflower back there. Maybe too warm in here by now for these to grow. I may move them outside to see if they'll do a little bit better. Uh, same with the Brussels sprouts. Started them kind of late. But they're coming. And here is some bok choy that I planted a little while ago. And it's doing extremely well as well. And then on this side, we've got white onions. And either I'm watering them too much or they don't like... Uh, that much sun. I don't know yet, but uh, they're doing okay, but not great. Carrots are doing fantastic. We had a bunch of lettuce in here and uh, already harvest most of it. You can see where I just cut these two off. And this one I cut last week and it's uh, growing back already. We're near the end of our season, I think, for our spinach. Got quite a bit out of there. Some red onions doing okay. And then our beets. Beets, I don't know, don't know yet. Um, they're doing okay, but they're not doing fantastic. We'll find out here in a bit. And then I tried a tray of salad greens, and I got another one starting back there. And then up here in the flowering flower pots, I've got some tomatoes growing. So they're they're a little slow getting started in the pots, and I don't know why, but they are coming. So we'll see if we get any little cherry tomatoes on those or not. And then for fun, over here I've got a lemon tree that I just transplanted. Got that at Tractor Supply. And my wife got me an olive tree. So that started as well. So that's the plants in the greenhouse. But what about the greenhouse itself? Well, the greenhouse is holding up fantastic. We've had some incredible winds here that took down massive trees, greenhouse, and this, this polycarbonate roof. Uh, not a bit of issue whatsoever. It doesn't leak. Uh, it does rattle a little bit in the heavy, heavy wind. Sounds really nice when you're in here on a rainy day. But uh, very pleased with the greenhouse performance itself as a structure. And then there are some other things that uh, we did to the greenhouse that I'm quite pleased with as well. Let me show you a couple of those. First of all, we've got our solar fan, which isn't spinning at the moment because it is a cool morning in here. Although it is going to start up here pretty soon, I would guess, with the sun shining. But that cable runs out to a solar panel that's sitting on the roof. And when it exceeds 70 degrees, that thing will kick in and suck a lot of air out of here. It works fantastic. Down here we've got the thermostat for our heater, which we don't really need at the moment. It's, it's down here on the floor. It did a, uh, a really good job 
uh, in warming up or keeping a minimum temperature in here get about a delta of about 20 degrees so if it's 25 degrees outside we can manage to get it up to about 45 with that little heater and then there's the water pump that I installed uh, because the head pressure from our 300 gallon tank which is sitting outside and is fed by the roof the head pressure isn't a whole lot so I do like the supplemental pump uh, to kick a little bit more water through the hose I'll just turn that on and show you again so this is coming straight from the rain barrel yeah it works really really good and then of course we got the uh, floor drain underneath of all this stone so we can spill as much water as we want and it'll never accumulate inside of the greenhouse so that's it a really quick video we also had some much bigger plants um, that I've already taken out so I had uh, well let me just cut away to that and I'll show you where I put them but I had to get them out of the greenhouse to uh, create some space I want to grow some more peppers in here uh, some jalapenos and that kind of thing so I got to find some heat loving plants and that's what we're going to try next but let's go to the cutaway of the other vegetables that we started from seed right here in the greenhouse that have made their way outdoors already now these guys I had to kick out of the greenhouse because they were starting to take up too much space not so much these watermelon here although the pot is pretty big but here we've got uh, the bottle gourds which were growing like crazy here we've got our pumpkin and then over here we got six buckets of peas and they already have peas coming on them when I kicked them out of the greenhouse. I don't know if you'll be able to see it in the video, but there's uh, some little peas right there. Yeah, so we kicked these out uh, a couple days ago at the end of the garden where we've planted all of our corn, our potatoes, and our squash. So I'm hoping the watermelon, the bottle gourds, and the pumpkin do well down here. I'm not transplanting them into the soil. I never tilled this end of the garden, so I've got to keep them in pots, which means i got to watch them uh, from a watering perspective pretty closely. But uh, put down some straw for them to uh, grow out onto. Hopefully that helps. No idea just yet. But yeah, the greenhouse is already producing and uh, pretty excited about uh, our first year using the greenhouse so far. Well, I think that just about wraps up another episode of Try New Things. I know it was a short episode, but wanted to give you a quick update on how our greenhouse has been working out for us in our very first season, very first year using it. And I think we've learned a few things. Hopefully we continue to learn a lot more as we go forward. But so far, pleased as punch with the performance of the greenhouse. Loving it, having a great time, learning to grow plants, finding out what works, what doesn't work. Got any questions or comments whatsoever don't forget to leave them below if you want to see the videos on the fan on the water system uh, check them out I've got them in my greenhouse series as well as a complete beginning to end build for that particular greenhouse that we did but anyway if you like this video give it a like if you like this channel give it a subscribe and we'll see you in the next video bye bye